But first at 11, we'll start with that breaking news out of Palm Beach International Airport. A live look right now, business as usual, but that was not the case earlier. A bomb scare forced hundreds of passengers to evacuate. Palm Beach County deputies and the FBI rushing to the area after they say a passenger reported having a bomb in his bag. We do have team coverage tonight. WPTV's Joe Lopez is tracking its impact on travel. We want to begin with WPTV News Channel 5's Cam Roll Eppinger. He is live at the airport with what we learned tonight. Cam. Well, honey, when we arrived here at the airport earlier at around 630, I mean, this entire area was packed up with passengers. I mean, hundreds of them, many people just simply standing around waiting, trying to figure out what was happening, what was going on, because not much was being said over the loudspeaker other than the fact that the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office was conducting an investigation. Take a look. Now, here's what we've been able to learn so far. Investigators say a man on board a flight made several comments about having a bomb on board. Now, this was a Frontier flight headed to Philadelphia. It was initially set to take off at 5 o'clock. However, after those comments were made, everyone on board was forced to get off. Moments later, the bomb squad and the FBI arrived here on scene and began checking luggage. Now, I did get a chance to speak with one passenger who was on board that flight, and she tells me she didn't hear any threats. However, she says the man did make several comments to everyone on board about having drugs in his carry-on luggage. Uh, there was a man on the flight who came on and said that he had cocaine in his bag and that's why it was so heavy and he just talked and talked and talked. He was uh, really, he seemed innocuous, but who knows. I, I did not hear anything about a bomb threat, but that seems to be what's going around on the wire, so... Now, this entire situation lasted for about three hours. The all clear was given just around uh, eight o'clock, and we do know at least six flights were impacted, including that Frontier flight. It was rescheduled for 915, but we have since learned that that flight has been canceled and rescheduled for tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. As for uh, that person uh, who started all of this or who was responsible for all this, according to deputies, we do know uh, that he is in custody with the FBI. It's still unclear whether or not if he will face any charges. That is the very latest from PPI. I'm Kimara Leppinger. Back to you all in the studio. Hi, Cam, thank you. Our team coverage continues with WPTV's Joe Lopez. Joe, I know you talked to travelers that are impacted by this evacuation. Yeah, honey, when I was there at the airport, there was hundreds of people just standing around, and the ones I spoke with were asking us what was going on, as most said that they weren't given any information on what was happening. People are getting really mad and not sure what's going on. Confusion filled Palm Beach International Airport. Do you guys know what's going on? After what's believed to be a bomb threat forced passengers to evacuate Terminal C. So I've heard a lot of different things. It went from hearing about a fuel leak to a threat to someone on a plane saying something. Margot Procell was one of hundreds of passengers who says they had zero information and were on standby, filling nearly the entire main terminal. People are calling me like, do I pick you up? I'm like, I have no idea. I'm just trying to get back home to New York. There are about people everywhere. I would say over 600 people standing around not knowing anything. We don't we have we have no information. Luana Cordero says she was on the same plane as the man who is believed to have made the bomb threat and says he was escorted off the plane. I personally was not scared because that man was on the flight with me on the way here and I know that I'm like, oh, he probably said something really stupid. Cordero's flight was headed to Jersey and is one of six that were delayed because of the threat. Tomorrow my kids have school, so have to rearrange their schedule, but it's it's OK. We'll figure it out as long as we're safe. <laughs> Now we did reach out to Frontier Airlines and they issued us this statement saying currently flight 2346 has been delayed until tomorrow morning. The airline is working to secure hotel accommodations this evening for impacted customers. Now the concourse again didn't reopen until 8 p.m. So people were waiting at the airport terminal for at least two and a half hours. I know it's a long wait, but uh, at least everyone's safe. <laughs> That's right. Thank you, Joel.